You are about to take another green energy adventure with me, Jay Nygaard, the Turbine Guy. Alright folks, welcome to a windy and blustery day in the tundra of Minnesota. And we are here today to talk about a high watt, 300 watt vertical axis wind turbine, which have been producing pretty well today. And we'll go inside and look at some numbers in a minute. One thing I do want to point out is that this is not an optical, uh, optimal location for this turbine as it's so close to the house. It should probably be another three or four feet higher in order to get out of the turbulent wind zone and operate better. Alright folks, we're in the basement looking at it now, up over 100 watts. This is the charge controller for the HiVot DS300. You can also run one solar module through it. It runs 12 or 24 volt battery banks. You can see we're up, uh, we're up over 130 for a minute. Now what's nice is, this will also tell you the current or the voltage. You notice the voltage changes, the faster it spins, the more voltage you produce more power. 180, 190. We're having a good time right now, almost two thirds power. And as I said, that turbine's in a bit of a subpar location. But if it was a little higher up there, we'd be getting more power out of it. So we've been consistently 100 watts or more for a little bit. And let's head back outside and listen to how loud it is out there. Well, on a fairly windy day, I can hear the wind and some other stuff, but I just can't really even hear that turbine. Nice and quiet. But we saw some decent numbers in the basement. Of course, we'd like them to be better, but you need more wind for them to be better. And if it's that much windy, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me on the camera. Anyways, thanks for joining us. And this is the Turbine Guy saying, if you're interested in one of these or other renewables, just check out my website on the contact page and send me an email at gogreenenergyonline.com, gogreenenergyonline.com.